we're thinking about how we can give back to the team and we're thinking about how we actually can be have honest assessments and appraisals and discussion with each other. Unless we're honest the fastest way to the truth is through honesty. And head coach Jane Woodlands Thompson conducts an immediate review of yesterday's loss without taking any shortcuts. Disappointed me personally on the weekend, and I know that you're all disappointed, is hardness and passion. Okay? Um, I think we have to let the feelings set in. It wasn't good enough. I think we were disappointed not only with the result, but the way we performed in the second half. And we all agreed afterwards that it would be fair to say that the opposition had more passion and more intensity than us, which we don't take lightly. We pride ourselves on our passion and our intensity. So from that aspect, that will need to be dealt with. And sometimes the feelings have to sit. We can't gloss over that. No more talk of finals. We're not there yet. So I don't want to hear any more media, media interviews talk about when we get to finals or on the way to the finals. F word is banned. No more talk of how well we get on, because actually it's a curse. At the moment, it is our biggest enemy because we're not being hard enough on each other. This is probably going to hurt and it's blow by blow, but you need to have an understanding of what type of errors we're making as a team when they're made and if they're made in a row. Penalty shot, uh, missed, that was error number four. Error number 10, the low ball that you didn't quite grab. Guys, between you two, we've probably lost it 11 times from a scoring position. We'll give some fairly damning feedback tonight. Um, we need to understand why it went wrong for us in the second half and then we'll move towards setting some goals, picking everyone's confidence up and making sure that everyone's really confident about what we have to do this week to win. That was a she trip. The performance assessments from the coach are sharply directed, but any hope of a ceasefire disappears quickly as the players assess each other. I feel like I'm just constantly yelling at you the whole game, not knowing if it's actually helping or if it's making you pissed off or, you know, and then because I feel like then I forget what I'm doing because I'm concentrating too much and worrying about what you're doing. Their ability to critique and move on is done in the best interests of the team. It requires maturity and a lack of ego. And with only seven days before the next game, weaknesses have to be identified, rectified, and eliminated with haste. You're the leader of the combination, all right? So you're calling the shots and communicating with her, and then you're giving her feedback on it.